Hello, welcome to part 19 of Clinical Physiotherapy MCQ series. Let's move to our 91st question. A 55-year-old non-athletic and a healthy patient is referred for exercise program. For beginners, a good target heart rate should be 60% of maximum heart rate. What is the correct target heart rate during exercise for the patient? Option A, 165. Option B, 175. Option C, 105. Option D, 99. And the answer is option D 99. Explanation to this question is the target heart rate of patient during XI is 99. The target heart rate is obtained by using the formula 220 minus H, 220 minus 55, that's the age equal to 165. And we do 165 into 0.60 that's the 60 percentage equal to 99 now let's move to our 92nd question a female patient informs a physical therapist that she has been having problems with sexual intercourse and physical sexual response since the spinal cord injury the injury occurred a year and a half before the consult the history of the patient reveals complete motor neuron injury affecting the s2 s5 segment which of the following sexual dysfunction is most likely reported by the patient? Option A. Absence of vaginal lubrication with sexual stimulation. Option B. Involuntary tightness of the vagina. Option C. Difficulty in achieving orgasm. Option D. Loss of sexual desire. And the answer is... Option C. Difficulty in achieving orgasm. Explanation to this question is, difficulty achieving a orgasm is seen in a patient with complete motor neuron injury affecting S2 S5 segment. Absence of lubrication occurs in injury involving T10 to T12. Involuntary tightness of vagina is not caused by spinal cord injury. Absence of sexual desire has many causes. It may be due to psychological problems or it may be secondary to discomfort related to certain physical condition. Now let's move to our 93rd question. A 50-year-old patient had an uncomplicated open repair of the rotator cuff tear two weeks ago. The patient asked the physical therapist when the shoulder will be normal again. Which of the following expected outcome time frames most accurately addresses this patient's question? Option A. 3 weeks to lift a 5 LB or 2.3 kg object. Option B. 3 weeks to sleep on the involved side. Option C. 3 months to lift upper extremity overhead to reach into a cabinet. Option D. 3 months to play golf. Too easily for the rotator cuff injury. And the answer is... Option C, 3 months to lift upper extremity overhead to reach into a cabinet. Explanation to this question is, 3 weeks is too early to lift 5 LB or 2.3 kg objects. 3 weeks is too early to sleep on the involved side. Usually, by 8 to 12 weeks, a patient who has had an uncomplicated open repair of the rotator cuff 2 weeks ago is able to actively elevate the arm to functional heights. 3 months is too early to play golf. Now let's move to our 94th question. A physical therapist is assessing the lifting technique of a patient who has a history of back pain. The patient performs a lift by picking up the light weight from the floor without bending the knees. During the lift, the therapist notes that the patient demonstrates excessive lumbar flexion limitation of which of the following measure is a stronger contributor to this finding option a hamstring flexibility option b gluteal muscle strength option c abdominal muscle strength option d hip flexor flexibility and answer is option a hamstring flexibility explanation to this question is tightness of the hamstring causes excessive lumbar flexion because Tight hamstring restrict the amount of hip flexion. Weak gluteal allows more hip flexion. Weak abdominal shows up in anti-gravity flexion of the trunk. Not passive forward bending. Hip flexor flexibility is not a factor in forward bending. Now let's move to our 95th question. 
Adrenal cortex hypersecretion can result in many diseases. In this particular one, obesity is most common feature in the face, trunk and dorsal spinal region. The patient often has a moon face, hypertension and osteoporosis. Which of the following diseases listed below does the above description define? Option A. Cushing syndrome. Option B. Adrenogenital syndrome. Option C. Korn syndrome. Option D. Addison syndrome. And the answer is... Option A. Cushing syndrome. Explanation to this question is... Cushing syndrome is a metabolic disorder resulting from hypersecretion of the adrenal cortex or excessive production of the glucocorticoid. It may be caused by tumor of adrenal gland or excessive stimulation of the gland that results in hyperfunctioning of the anterior pituitary. Adrenogenital syndrome is a condition characterized by hypersecretion of adrenocortical androgen resulting in somatic musculination. Addison's disease is a condition caused by partial or complete failure of adrenocortical functions. All three general functions of the adrenal cortex are lost, glucocorticoids, neurocorticoids, and androgenic. So that's all for today. If you need further clarification, check the description box and give your feedback in the comment box. If you like this MCQ session, do subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you.